name is Liana. This is Marley, my Australian Shepherd puppy, and welcome to Flores with Liana. In today's video, Marley and I are going to share all the things that I bought for Marley before getting him, and also some things I got while I actually had him because I realized it would be helpful. So if you're about to get a pup, or if you already have a pup and want some more ideas on what to get, this one's for you. Let's get to it. Okay, so I believe that the very first thing that I got for Marley was his doggy bed. I got him, which he is so excited to go into right now, I got him a pretty large sized doggy bed because he's going to grow up to be a pretty big puppy. So this is definitely very big for him right now. It's big enough that I can fit on this thing with him, but eventually, before I know it, he's gonna grow up to be a full size, 65 pound dog and it's gonna be a perfect size for him. Okay, so the second thing I got for him is his doggy crate. Now this actually comes with the divider, but I decided to just leave the divider out and give him all the free space in there. I like to throw in a lot of toys in there, make it feel very homey for him. And we have been doing lots of crate training and leaving him in there when we go to the grocery stores, the gym, etc. Also got him a crate cover so that he can be closed off in there um, not have any distractions, not see anyone or anything around him that will, you know, make him want to come out and just so he could relax in there and be in his own little safe space or bedroom. Next, we got this adorable little stand for his food and drinks. So the reason why I got him a stand, originally we got him just bowls that are on the floor, but then my mom actually told me that it's a better idea to give him something with a stand so that he's more elevated when he eats so that he can digest his food more properly. So when he eats and drinks out of this bowl, his head is more aligned with the bowl instead of going down so much because when he's eating, it has to go down his throat so that he won't choke up. We actually got this from Marshalls, my favorite store. <laughs> then we have this retractable bowl that we use for travels. So basically it opens up and then it closes just like that. <laughs> the next thing is up there if you can see it. I am not bringing that down because it is too high up, but that is the food that he eats. It is the Purina Pro Plan. It's like a 36 pound bag and Tony's 6'3", super strong, so he's the one who feeds Marley. <laughs> what? So that's the food that we feed him. It's the food that his vet recommended to him and it's supposed to be very healthy and keep him alive for a very long time, which is what we all want for our puppies. In addition to his food, we give him a little squirt of salmon oil in there, which is supposed to be really great for his coat to keep it shiny and also really healthy for him in general. Oh, look, he loves his little oil. He's just looking at it right now. You want some oil? <laughs> You're being a good boy. <laughs> The next thing I got from Marley is this training wee wee pad. It looks like grass. It's very aesthetic. It's not just like, you know, blue, ugly wee wee pads. We actually put those underneath here, let it absorb, and we change this maybe twice a week so that it doesn't get too stinky. But this is basically where he goes to poo and pee because he's not fully trained to only go outside yet. So this is the closest thing to that since it, you know, looks like grass. For cleaning up his messes, first we have to obviously use something dry if he misses the you know, pee area, which he oftentimes does because when he just has his front paws on it, he thinks he's on the sheet, but the back of him is actually over here. So there's a puddle that we have to clean up, but after we dry it off with a paper towel, I use this wipe to clean it off and it removes the scent and cleans off whatever marks are left of the urine. And I also use this urine destroyer bottle, which I basically just pour on his mat a couple of times and wipe it down just to keep it fresh and it really takes away the smell and this smells pretty good actually. As you can see, we have toys all over the apartment. I love giving him his little toys to be occupied. This is actually a rosé toy. Water bottle goes inside here and he just loves playing with it. <laughs> there you go. Then we have these little balls that we like to play around with him. While he has rosé with me, he has a Heine kennel <laughs> to enjoy with his dad, Tony. <laughs> and we also like playing tug of war with him with this rope. And we like to kind of battle it out, see who's stronger. Yeah. Do you think you're so strong? You still have your baby teeth. You think you're so strong? Yeah. Ooh. Looks like you're stronger than I thought. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Come on. All right, you win. Good boy. <laughs> so a bunch of these little toys will keep him occupied throughout the day. This is a little Kong that I fill up with peanut butter, so it takes him a long time to actually get the peanut butter out. He actually has his days. Sometimes he's interested in peanut butter and sometimes he's just not. Over here I also have two hula hoops. We actually just got these and we're gonna be using them for training. 
For training, I oh he knows what that is. <laughs> For training, I also use this training pouch, which has a clip, and you put it on your shorts or your pants, and then basically when you make him do tricks, you give him treats. So he does a trick for a treat. Marley, sit. Good boy. Marley, lie down. Good boy. All right, Marley, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Then we have some treats and rawhides for him that will keep him busy and keep him chewing because he has those grown-up teeth coming in. Don't you, Marley? I also give him these rawhide braids. Now these really take him a long time to work on. He still hasn't even finished a third of his first. But it's great because it's good for his teeth and it keeps him very busy. When it comes to brushing our teeth, I give him greenies. So these keep his puppy breath smelling fresh and it's actually vet recommended for dental care for puppies. And this is for dogs between 15 and 25 pounds. So we really have to finish this because we're really outgrowing them. This is the harness that we use for him when we go on walks. We also have collars for him, but just for decor, honestly, because I find harnesses a lot safer, especially when we have to pull him aside. I really don't like uh, just pulling on his neck because then he coughs and it just makes me feel so bad I really don't like it when the leash is only attached to the collar So I use this harness then here is the leash that we use I actually had a retractable leash before and he broke that pretty easily. He's a very strong puppy <laughs> So we got this very nice quality rope leash It's four feet long and I was worried that that would be too short But honestly, it's the perfect distance that you need to walk with your dog and if you want him to go further distance you should go to a place where you could just let him run free like a dog park. Here is the poop bag box that I use for him. This one actually comes with 270 bags. So designed for lots of poops and it smells like lavender so it covers the scent right up. Next, when we go outside and play or when we go on walks, I like to give him water from this water bottle. Basically what I do is I turn this little knob up I press this button and it releases water in here, which he loves drinking from. Whether he's thirsty or not, it's just such a fun water bottle for him to drink from. When it comes to grooming and puppy baths, this is the shampoo that I give him. It's a veterinary formula clinical care. This has amazing reviews on Amazon and it is one of the most highly rated shampoos out there for dogs. So I definitely had to go with this. It's really great for his skin. It's hydrating antifungal. It's paraben dye and soap free, which is very important so it won't strip him so much. And if your dogs have any skin conditions, if they're itching, uh, you can actually use this as a medication. Marley's an Australian Shepherd, so brushing him is very important. His fur is still not too long, but he's already shedding, especially because we're in Florida and the weather is changing. So I use these two brushes. The blue one is for his undercoat, and that's for the top of his coat. And I just brush his fur every day. I also have this ear cleaning wash that I got from the vet. Still a little scared to do this, but I think I got it. So there you have it. Those are basically all the things that I got for Marley before and during the time that I had him. And I can say he's a very happy Happy puppy. He loves his food, he loves his treats, he loves his toys, and most importantly, he loves us. So if you're thinking about getting a puppy, or if you're planning on getting a puppy, or if you already have a dog, this is a video of all the things that I give Marley to keep him happy, healthy, occupied, um, and that's it. I would say I like to keep it pretty simple. I've seen some videos on YouTube where a lot of people go above and beyond, which is, by the way, amazing, but I think I'm just sticking to the necessities of what I think he needs and what I think I need to keep him busy. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you are interested in more doggy videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.